Let's see how these fish react. Ooh, ooh, hi, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. I'm feeling kind of low. I never leave the house, but I'm not home. Can't tell if I'm awake or living in a dream. A caterpillar drifting down a stream. I just want to fly away, but I can't seem to get my feet up off the ground. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Fish Friday. Today we have a spicy video for you guys. Lots been going on. We got new tanks all over the freaking house, but we got to show a little love to the 65. So I have had this bag for months, literally under this cabinet, and I just haven't used it yet because I've been wanting to do this video with it and I've just been pretty much getting new tanks. So I just keep putting it off, putting it off, but I feel like today is the perfect day to use the Reef Chili for the first time. So, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We got new videos every single week. You're gonna wanna be here for it. Let's check out the tank. Things are still opening up just a little bit. We have some really good news because I have officially fragged the first piece of coral that we're looking at putting in the nano tank. I made a decision pretty early on with the nano tank that I wasn't gonna just put every single coral from this tank that I have into that one because I don't want it to be like a miniature replica, if that makes sense. But I do want, to, that tank is going to be just like only bright, bright, dope pieces. I have picked out a couple from this tank that I do want to transfer to that one and we fragged up the first one yesterday. Technically there's four heads on it, only like one and a half big ones and then we got those two little babies down there. A lot of people use uh, like diamond dremels and stuff to frag these because they're a skeleton base and they say that they will crack. You know me, I like to risk stuff. So I grabbed my bone cutters. I was like, screw it. Let's just try to snip this. I got a freaking perfect cut, fragged it up. Hopefully that heals up fast. The other couple frags that I've decided that I want to put into that tank are the Bam Bams because they're just super freaking bright. The radioactives because they are also super bright. And then the scrambled eggs. I don't want to pop these plugs off in order to frag them off and I obviously don't want to spend money and buy more when I already have them so I'm trying to figure out kind of the best way to frag these off of the rock. I might just try to snip a piece of the frag plug it will probably break off the rock I don't have to re-glue it but we'll see how that goes. Other than those Zoas and the Duncans I'm thinking rainbow infusions I'll probably put one of those and then definitely a piece of the jack lantern is going to go in there I got this whole frag I got a whole disc back there the colony up here is looking really nice and it's growing a lot what's going to happen when these two intersect I guess we'll find out soon enough this guy is literally finally starting to come off the side of the rock here so much growth on this one it's crazy he's tucked in under there it's just like there's no way to frag that so but he's doing really good found both of my rock flowers if you guys remember i had a red one and a green one that i kept from that batch of reef palooza i put both of them here and they disappeared the green one just popped up the other day you see that little you see that bright green right there that's the rock flower and then the red one is right back there as well so both of them just pretty much hid behind the rock on the same rock that i put them on i still haven't gotten the other bright green zoas that i want to put on this side because i am a slacker pink hippos are doing really good i think we're at like 10 11 uh, polyps already so those are doing good the meteor shower is growing crazy fast literally all over the rock season's greeting is doing awesome it actually has some new growth down here new layers on top of the uh, fried stuff, and you can actually already start to see the red specks in it again, which is awesome. Not too much growth on the watermelon boopity boop. Blastos are doing solid per usual. Still got a couple frags of the Grafted Monty, so hit me up for those if you're local. The torch, boom, doing good, doing good. All the fish are doing good. The beetles, Flash, Subi. I almost forgot. We have officially named Mr. Harley Quinn Shrimp. His name is Quincy the Shrimp. He's been gone for a couple days now. He tends to do that. He'll hide out in a cave. I won't see him and then he'll just pop out out of nowhere. I have seen a decrease in the number of Astrina starfish on the glass. They're still in there, but they are decreasing, which is good news. Quincy the shrimp is doing his job and he's getting fat in there. We're going to fill this guy with water and then I'm going to I'm going to target feed. This has zooplankton, photoplankton, micron. There's a lot of stuff in here basically. Fill this guy up. Wow, that is jam-packed. It's just a bunch of powder. I'm actually really surprised with how jam-packed this stuff is. Literally no room for more. Usually you buy stuff, like a bag of potato chips, for instance, and it's like 50% full. 
that jam packed to the top. Shaky, 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 shaky. What's that jellyfish? You're hungry? Okay, got you, one second. Jellyfish are hungry. We gotta feed them real quick. Last jellyfish video, you guys saw me feed them the live brine. However, you haven't seen me feed them what I usually feed them, which is just the uh, jellyfish food that's powdered and I mix it with their water and then I just let it go around and they love it. Hey guys, how you doing down there? You looking happy? Yeah, I love this green for you. Put a little bit of water in this guy of their tank water. Half a scoop of the jellyfish food goes in there. This stuff actually looks a little bit like the reef chili. So I learned this the hard way. I was originally not using this and I just dumped it into here, but it all just floated and didn't go down, which was a pain in the ass. I used a little container, which I'm sure this is the whole freaking reason that they sent it. Cap this little guy on here like that. Shake it all up so I see that it's all in the water column. We open it up and then we pour. And usually some get stuck in there like that, so I kind of just gotta squishy, squishy. Look at it all. It just fills the tank. Ooh, this one got a lot already. We got Curly down here. You could clearly tell he's the biggest one. We got Larry, and then we got Mo down there. Right now, inside their little bellies, you can see it's clear, but we're gonna, like in a couple minutes, I'm gonna show you how they just get completely full with all the jellyfish food. He's got it all over his back. Look at that, that's crazy. Oh, they're loving it. I'm telling you, I think they love this dry food more than the brine. They're super excited and you can see it all collecting on the rim of their, uh, of their bells and then they'll move it to through the tentacles, up the arms, into the bellies. I'll give them like five, 10 minutes till all the stuff in the actual column falls down and then I'll come with the little turkey baster and I'll just push it off of the floor again to raise it into the column one more time and give them like a second chance to eat that food. Usually that works and nothing else falls on the floor and, and they're good to go. The first time I fed them this dry food, I thought they had said two scoops instead of half of a scoop. It was so bad. There was so much food in there. I had to suck it all out. It was a disaster, but now we got it half a scoop a day, half a scoop. All right, back to the reef chili. Here's our little mixture. All right, guys, are you ready? I hope you get excited. The only pump I have on is the uh, MP10. Nobody knows what's going on. Oh, here comes, here comes Flash. Oh, we got a little piece of something. Oh, yeah, he, he knows. Oh, oh, hi, buddy. Hey, all right. Flash is excited. That's what I'm talking about. Yummy, yummy. A little for my homie over here. What's up, buddy? Oh yeah, that's good stuff. All the snails are starting to come out. Look at them. That's a big one, Mr. Toadstool. There you go, buddy. Whoa, snails under here lifting this whole thing as a house. Come on, buddy, come out. <laughs> Dude, get out, get out. <laughs> <laughs> He's huge. We made it. Nice. All right, I think we should just broadcast feed the rest so that way the fishies can eat and everybody could be happy. Let's see how these fish react. Oh, here we go. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, the fish are going crazy for this right now. Floating around all over the place. Oh, look at the beetles. Dang, look at them. Devouring, they're like little piranhas. All right, guys, that's all you got. That's everything. Eat it all up. You got so much in the water column. Look how crazy the bottom of this snail is. Boop, booty, boop. The snails are coming out of the woodworks and the fish are finally eating all of the little reef chili. I think they like it. It seems, hey, Mr. Herman's all over my stuff over here. It looks like the corals are liking it too. They're kind of closing up a little bit. Maybe I should have put more mixture. If you guys use reef chili, let me know. Do you guys do exactly what's recommended? Do you do less water, more reef chili, more reef chili, same amount of water? Like, what's your your go-to for the reef chili. Ooh, Subi got a big piece of seaweed there. I fed him seaweed too, because I felt kind of bad. Look at the turn radius on this guy. He is moving. The jellyfish are happy, their bellies are full. The fish are happy, their bellies are full. All the corals are full. We have our selection for some of the corals that we're gonna be putting from this tank into the nano tank eventually. We're not there yet. So, you know, if you wanna see that, you're gonna wanna hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on because we got new freaking sick videos coming out every single week. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Later.